G'day guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. Welcome to a brand new career mode series on the channel. It is episode number one of our Southampton Road to Glory. We are heading to the south of England, taking over the Saints at St. Mary's, and we are going to make this career mode like no other. I want a series with a challenge. I've had it pretty easy in the past few years. I mean, Dortmund was way too easy. I want a challenge. I want stress. I want to I want to feel satisfaction when I do a career mode. So we're heading over, taking over from Ralph Halsenhuthel and looking to make Southampton not only the best team in England, but the best team in Europe. But it's going to be one hell of a journey along the way. And the way that I am planning on doing this is I am playing on ultimate. Yep, ultimate. I'm probably going to regret this decision in a few days time or maybe a few minutes time. But we are going to be playing this series on ultimate. I'm a very mediocre FIFA player. So I'm fully expecting to age about 50 years during this save. But I don't want it to be easy. I don't want a season number one with Southampton to have us qualifying for the Champions League. I want relegation battles. I want goals to matter. I want this game to be just pure chaos. It's going to be stressful at times, but I want it to be a special, special career mode. But lads, if you do go on to enjoy this video and you're excited for the career mode series, make sure you leave a like on the video. Also, if you are new around here, make sure you bloody scorpion kick that subscribe button down below. We are on the grind towards 100,000 subscribers on this channel. So help us hit it. So this is the starting lineup, the squad that we have to begin life with at Southampton. It's not a bad team, of course. We, I don't know. I don't really know what we need to improve, honestly. I think there's younger areas that need to improve. A lot of key positions, though, in terms of especially the back line. I'm not sure what I'm going to do because we've got good depth in that area. Salasu is an absolute beast in career mode. If Vestigard or Bednarek have some shitty performances, especially Vestigard, could be replaced by Salisu, of course. Decent players in the reserves. The Australian midfielder, Watts. He's getting a little bit of hype over in Australia. Only 18 years of age. Want to turn him into a bit of a beast. But there is definitely some storylines to follow in this one. Definitely some improvements to make with this Southampton squad. And in terms of budget, we have a decent amount of budget here. I mean, I'll turn that down a little bit. 35 or so million pounds to work with. Obviously, look to sell a couple of players as well. But 35 million pounds here isn't too bad oh my god what the board want us to reach the europa league final i didn't even realize we were in the bloody europa league this season i have zero intentions of reaching the final especially for playing on ultimate I want to try surviving in the bloody Premier League, let alone reaching the Europa League final. Bloody hell. Also, here's a look at Sir Jaredinho. We've got the Southampton jersey. Got to say, one of the coolest jerseys in the Premier League this season. Going to take over the Saints and look to make them absolute ballers. But I'm going to transfer list some players. I'm going to shortlist some players. And I'll get back to you guys once we've got a solid strategy figured out. All right, boys. So we have transfer listed and loan listed a few players. Not as many players that I was keen to sell as I initially thought there would be. But I have transfer listed the following players. Ryan Bertrand. We're looking to improve the left back role. So I thought may as well transfer list him. 30 years of age. 11 million pounds. Fraser Foster. Now, I know he's valued pretty decently in terms of overall. But 32 years of age for a backup goalkeeper. Going to have to sell him on and get a little bit of cash in whilst we can. Going to have to be a little bit cutthroat there. And Stuart Armstrong. Again, the right midfield slash right wing role is somewhere that I want to improve. Not going to be starting Theo Walcott or Minamino. Um, I think we can go for somebody that long term is going to be a better investment in the club. Then I have loan listed two players here. Probably going to loan list a few more in the future, to be honest. But Obafemi, loan listed. This dude is an absolute freak of a striker in career mode. I've used him in rebuilds before. Absolutely love using him. So definitely want to grow him. And then the Australian, Caleb Watts. Want to help him live up and get the next generation of Australian football firing. So we have loan listed the young Australian. But then... In terms of the shortlist, like I said, I have said to myself, left back striker, sorry, left back and right wing slash right mid are the spots we want to improve. So this is the shortlist we have going at the moment. Some players a little bit more adventurous than others, but we have David Brooks, Daniel James, Bukio Saka, who if I'm being honest, I'm not super keen on signing him. I don't think it's a super realistic signing. I mean, he's getting game time at Arsenal as it is. Uh, Bernadeschi, I think, could be awesome to rotate or develop into a right midfielder. Oscar Miendo, uh, Emiliano Buendia, and then for left backs, I've gone Emerson, Ruben Duarte, Luke Shaw. Imagine how cool it would be if we brought Luke Shaw back to Southampton. 
and then Carlos Neva. So gonna scout all these guys, see if we can get some transfer offers in to raise some revenue and just see what we can do and who we can bring to Southampton, who we can bring to St. Mary's. I also wanted to check the Youth Academy here. We have been absolutely blessed. We have got some absolute gems on our hands, lads. Look at this guy, Carl Frank, 58 overall at age 16. 83 to 94 potential. This dude looks like he could be an absolute beast of a striker in the future. Also got this guy here, Christoph George, or Georges, who's pretty low rated, but decent potential. This guy here, Anwan Karichi, the Moroccan goalkeeper. Some decent potential there, but this guy, this Frank guy, could be the next Miroslav Closer. He could be insane, the next Lucas Podolski. I'm very excited to see what we can do with this kid. All right, so we have received our first transfer offers here. The first one is for a player we are looking to sell, Stuart Armstrong, 11 million pounds from Villarreal. I want to try getting as much money as possible here for these sorts of players. So 13.4 is my initial counter offer to Unai Emery. Let's see what the former Arsenal manager can say. Is Stuart Armstrong headed to the yellow submarine? It looks that way. Unai Emery accepting 13.4 million pounds for Stuart Armstrong. But someone I'm definitely not selling, Mohamed Salisu. He's got incredible potential on career mode. I would never sell him, at least in the early days. I'd definitely loan him out for a while if he doesn't get game time. But we are going to reject 18.5 million pounds from Monaco. And an offer that somewhat tempts me it's for Romeo. We could go in for a good center midfielder to replace him, but I think I'm going to keep him for at least the start of the save. 12.1 million pounds from Arsenal will be rejected. This makes no sense to me. Romeo is listed as potentially being able to play center midfielder. Like, it's a secondary position to him. Yet, for me to change him to a center midfielder permanently, apparently that's going to take 554 weeks. The development system, whilst... A great addition to the game is severely broken in situations like this. How can it take a defensive midfielder who is listed as also being able to play center midfield 554 weeks to transition to that position? That is just it's ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous. Not that preseason friendlies really mean anything at all. Just a good opportunity for our young players to get a bit of game time and for us to get a little bit more money in the back pocket. But we are versing Torino here with our incredibly weak starting 11. Just want to give the youngsters some game time. But we're going to quick sim the game here, expecting a loss. And a loss is exactly what we get. Dominated 3-0 against Torino. Good first game, Jared. This is what we want to see, lads. Caleb Watts, the young Australian, definitely want to make him an absolute beast. New York Red Bulls. Not the first time that they've potentially had an Australian midfielder on their books. Of course, they had Tim Cahill back in the day. But the New York Red Bulls want Caleb Watts. I want a one-year loan move for the Australian. No buy-on clause. Let's see if we can get him some game time in the MLS. Lads, the MLS clubs are having a bloody field day here over Caleb Watts. Chicago Fire... The latest MLS club to come and put in an offer for the young Australian. Again, I'm going to say a one-year loan. And another offer in here for Romeo. It is from Marseille, but again, it is going to be rejected from yours truly. But it is time for our second preseason friendly here. Is it going to be a second ass kicking in a row? Matt Leckie starting here for Hertha Berlin as we quick simulate this matchup and the scoreline. It's a little bit more respectable. Small bone turning my small bone into a big bone. But it is going to be a 2-1 win there for Hertha Berlin. That boy sus. And there it is, lads. The first official player departure of the Sir Jaradinho era at Southampton is locked in as Stuart Armstrong is headed to Villarreal, signing with Unai Emery's side for 13.4 million pounds. And another player that we have transfer listed in Fraser Foster has re re received an offer, I should say, from Brighton. It is 3.2 million pounds here for the Englishman. They are a fellow South Coast team, but I couldn't care less, honestly. We're going to accept that one. The thing, Brighton aren't one of our rivals, are they? I don't care, though. It's money in the back pocket. Let's go, boys. Both of the loan offers for Caleb Watts have been accepted. So I'm going to accept that one from the New York Red Bulls. I'm going to accept that one from the Chicago Fire. We don't discriminate here. I just want Caleb Watts to turn into an absolute beast for Australia. For, the, for my home country, for the motherland. We're not messing around here though, fellas. Another transfer has come and gone. It's signed and secured. Fraser Foster out of the club, taking over from Graham Potter's Brighton side. Matty Ryan, of course, loaned out there, so I hope Brighton burn in hell. <laughs> I mean, they sell Aaron Moy 
and they shun out and loan out Matty Ryan. I mean, that's a good way to kill any loyalty that I had for you guys. All right, but here we go. The final game of the preseason tournaments. There is no chance of us making it to the next round, which is fine by me. We'll get, what, a million dollars or something or a million pounds. We've given the youngsters a little bit of game time. And the scoreline against Hoffenheim is a 3-0 demolition job. That's that done, though. Let's finish getting some business done with this club and get into the domestic season, which is just going to be pure chaos. All right, lads. So we have received the scouting reports back. I've gone through the list. Honestly, I'm not sure. Like, I, I wasn't sure for the longest time on who I wanted to go for. I know that I don't want to get Bukio Saka in just for the pure, pure fact that I don't think it's a very realistic transfer. And he's a generic crew made player. I mean, he's an absolute wonder kid. I don't want to use players that I always use. I think the player that we should go in for at the right midfield spot is this man here, David Brooks. It's realistic. Relegated to the championship with Bournemouth. A young kid with decent potential. We bring him back up to the Premier League, keep his career on track and turn him into an absolute beast. So let's go and talk here with Bournemouth and see what we can get him for. The uh, chief executive says between 17 and 23.4. So let's see if we can get something in that range. I'm going to start off by saying, I'm going to say 15 million to start off and just test the waters. See what Bournemouth are willing to do. So they're going to reply with, holy shit, okay. We're going to be able to get him on a decent fee. So I don't want any sell-on clauses. Let's just see if they say 15 mil again. They're going to, they're going to accept it. Oh yes, that is a steal. That is an absolute steal. Come on, David Brooks. Let's bump up his wages. You're back in the prem, brother. I'll help you buy some, buy a nice place in Southampton. 44 to 65,000. David Brooks could well and truly be our first signing in charge of Southampton. So there it is, lads. Caleb Watts, the young Australian central midfielder, has been loaned out for the season to New York Red Bulls. Very happy we got that one over the line. And I hope he can come back. What's he rated? 60 rated now. I'd love for him to come back 63, 64 rated. I don't even know what his potential is, honestly, in this game. But would love to turn him into an absolute weapon. And it makes me happy deep down that he's wearing the Australian kidneys uh, profile picture as well, which is nice to see. Good luck, Caleb. Hope you smash it. But in even bigger news, lads, we have made our first signing in charge of Southampton as we bring David Brooks back up to the Premier League, back up to the top fright, signing him. He's staying on the South Coast, I guess. Signing him from Bournemouth here. A huge pickup for us. David Brooks, our new starting right midfielder. Welcome to Southampton. And there is the cutscene of David Brooks in Southampton colors. Being given the number seven jersey from the get-go, which is a big, 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 big statement, but I'm happy to stand by it. I love the, uh, the signs from the game. David Brooks, the aesthetics are there with the red and the white and the green. It's it's all working out beautifully, lads. Welcome to Southampton. And we have finally received a transfer offer here for Ryan Bertrand. It is an 11 million pound offer from our former club at Borussia Dortmund. I'm going to be petty. I'm going to be an absolute sting. I'm going to be the biggest tight ass in the world. I'm going to go in and try getting an extra million pounds here from Borussia Dortmund. 11 million pounds as the initial offer. Let's counter off a 12 for Ryan Bertrand. They're gonna, okay, maybe I'm not as big as a tight ass as I thought I was. They don't even want to budge for the extra million. Oh my god. Come on, Dortmund. I thought we had saying I think we had saying nice between us. Come on, how about a how about a battle in the Prem like us? Fucking hell, alright, I'll accept 11 million. Whatever. Whatever, Trevor. The good thing about this squad as well, maybe not for this season, but for next season especially, is we've got a lot of young, decent players loaned out all across the world. I mean, Wesley Hote, he's 75 rated. We could honestly bring him back. We've got a lot of decent players loaned out of the squad that could turn into absolute guns for us moving down the line, or at least be some good financial injections moving forward. So I'm very excited to see what all these young players can develop into, whether they're going to be players for the future, or whether like Shane Long's the perfect example of someone that once he comes back from loan, I'll more than likely just send straight out on a permanent deal. But that's some good depth to have in the squad for sure. Also, the good thing about David Brooks is that he is already a four-star, four-star rated player. So I'm going to change him here to a wide playmaker as his developmental plan and get him up to five-star skill moves. And eventually after that, I'm going to try getting him up to five-star weak foot as well. We can turn him into an absolute king here. You'll love to see it. And there it is, lads. Ryan Bertrand has officially been sold from the club. We've received 11 million pounds here from Borussia Dortmund 
for the English left back, which means it is now time for us to go out and try sorting ourselves out a new left back. But it is another transfer offer here for Mohamed Salisu. It is from Everton. And honestly, that is a piss poor offer from the Toffees. I'm going to reject that offer straight up. Not a chance. I've rejected AS Monaco once already in this career mode, but this is an offer that I'm willing to work with them for. It is a loan deal for Michael Obafemi, the Irishman, the man that we're looking to loan out and turn into an absolute gun, just like Caleb Watts. One year loan move, I'm going to counteract with that or counter offer here, delegate that one, and see if the French outfit want to accept it. And the loan agreement has come through here for Michael Obafemi. Things you love to see, we will accept that one, no doubt about it. All right, so the man that I really want to go in for, Luke Shaw, has been approached by RB Leipzig. So it looks like we're going to have to turn our attention to him. Quick smart if we want to sign him from Manchester United. But lads, that is where we are going to end episode number one of the career mode series here with Southampton, leaving you guys on a little bit of a cliffhanger. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the pilot episode of this career mode. If you did enjoy it and you want to see more of this series, make sure you show us some mad love. Leave a like on the video. Scorpion kick that subscribe button down below if you are new around here. Fully intending on uploading this series daily, so make sure you come and abuse me like you always do on Instagram if I miss a day of uploading. But I will see you boys the same time tomorrow for episode number two. It has been Jared HD here. I'm out. Peace.